All right, so we had a surface rust over here. And before that, I actually put grease on it just to stop it. So right now I actually have to repair it all the way. So I'm gonna take this grease off and I'm gonna sand it down and fix it the right way. Five CSI. Oh yeah, is it for sale? It's like eight or nine thousand. Guys, I just really hope this does something good to my engine and restores the compression of that cylinder. I really, really hope so, but who knows? Uh, we will see. It says to shake well before using. Okay, so I left, uh, you know, I, I put fresh oil in it, but I left some space for this guy. So we're gonna pour this guy in. And uh, this is for the eight cylinder engine. Uh, so it's a lot bigger bottle. If you had like a four cylinder, it would be a lot smaller bottle, but I don't know. I don't know if this thing is gonna work or not. Honestly saying, but you know, I'll try and run it for some time um, yeah All right, guys, this is what I did. I have the air cleaner off again, and I removed this line that goes to that injector, and I, I installed a different line, same line. I had a spare line. Uh, so I tightened this down. Right now, I'm gonna put this in a cup, start the engine, and I'm gonna see how this one sprays. Um, yes, this is a, a, a used uh, injector, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. It sprays fine. Just wanna see uh, the output from this fuel distributor. Maybe we just don't have any fuel or barely any fuel or stuff like that. So I don't know. Um, I just want to check this really quick.
I saw any fuel. Look at that, it's kind of leaking right there. Look at that small stream. Look at that small stream right there. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let me try again. So it's gonna be some shaking us, so this cup is gonna probably shake too. Come on, baby. It doesn't wanna stay running. Oh, like it's still spraying after I shut it off. It was just bad. So this injector isn't spraying good at all. So it's funny now, I just don't know whether it's injector or it's the line. So I'm gonna just uh, start it with the injector off and see how much fuel is there from the line that's coming. Now, now I'm gonna remove this injector and I'm gonna start the car without the injector on, see how much pressure there is in this line. Something is wrong with this distributor for sure. It's not giving out the right amount of fuel, I think. And it's just not good. All right, I reconnected the uh, defective uh, cylinder. And then I removed, I'm gonna do the same test uh, with the known good working cylinder. So I, I have this thing connected right here. We're gonna start the engine. Hopefully I can keep the, run the engine running. And then we're gonna try to see the spray pattern uh, from this line, all right? Right, guys that's gonna be it for this video thanks so much for watching and um, like I said I'm gonna keep going with this car I'm not gonna give up like I said if needed I'm gonna be driving this car for you know with seven cylinders uh, but uh, I need to brainstorm right now because I actually compared two other cylinders that were operating uh, to the one that's not working and I just want you know I was trying to see the spray pattern and uh, it was actually pretty similar but I still think that something is wrong with this 
distributor that's not actually like it's not producing enough pressure to open that injection or like to actually um you know the injection valve is you know which is i mean the injector it opens up but it's not uh probably spraying enough fuel that's what i'm thinking you know but um uh, i don't even know guys i'm just like really tired today and lost so i'm gonna keep working on it and you know uh right now i put the engine restore a restorer in this thing and hopefully that actually will uh bring up my compression on that cylinder and eventually we'll get uh, we'll figure something out we'll get this thing to work properly and to fire up um and uh, yeah like i said i just gotta you know this is a really high mileage car but i don't care like i said i buy when i buy these cars i really don't look at anything i don't look at the mileage if, you know if i want it i want it so other than that these beautiful wheels and clean interior right now gives me a lot more motivation to keep going and your help also gives me a lot more motivation and you know like i said i'm gonna keep working on this car and i'm gonna get this thing going you know if needed who knows maybe we'll find a different engine on it for this thing or something like that but i need to figure out this distributor i actually do have a different distributor for this thing uh, so if anything i can also swap that but uh, like i said safe classic cars guys Thank you so much for watching and there's gonna be more videos about this beast so yeah test drive is also coming up just not right now sometime in the near future for sure so thank you guys for everything all your support and i'll see you in the next one bye